Hey guys, Brittany here from Pennies Into Pearls. I want to share with you guys today something that is so fun and I'm always, always looking and thinking about all the time. So have you guys ever been on Pinterest? You're seeing all these like super cute, Pinterest perfect homes that are decorated beautiful and then you go to the store and you're like, I'm totally going to do this. But then the first piece of furniture you look at and you're like, what? What? $500 for one ottoman? Are you crazy? Well, guess what? You don't need to worry about that. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to decorate your home on a teeny tiny budget. This has been on my mind a lot lately because we're going to be moving our two boys into one room and then my daughter into her own, which means I have to decorate right. But I've got some specific budgets for those. More on that in a different video. But today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys the three places that I'm constantly browsing and searching to find hidden treasures to help decorate our home and make it look beautiful on a tiny, tiny budget. Plus, a bonus! Bonus! I'm gonna be sharing with you guys this new to me app. I don't really know how old it is, but it's new to me that you guys can use to find those hidden treasures to help decorate your own home. If that sounds good to you, then you are going to want to stay tuned. So when you're trying to recreate this Pinterest perfect look for your home, the key for you is going to be to buy secondhand. That's what we do. Let me take you on a quick tour around our house and I'm going to show you guys everything that we've bought secondhand. As I was thinking about this video, I'm pretty sure we haven't bought like a single thing brand new as I'm looking around. Maybe our TV and our beds. That's probably the only things that we have brought brand, brand, speaking new. Um, so let me show you. My house is a disaster, but I'm still going to show you guys because it's worth it. This is second hand. This chair is second hand. Second hand. Second hand dinner table. This brown chair up here. Second hand. Second hand chairs. This piano. Second hand. Yep. This baby toy is second hand. This messy bookshelf is second hand. This really pretty secretary desk that you can't really see because my desk is really messy. Second hand. You get the picture, right? Okay, so the key to decorating your house to make it look Pinterest perfect, but on a small budget, is to buy second hand, put a little elbow grease into it, and make it look brand new, and it's going to be a one-of-a-kind piece. So the three places that I am always looking for used furniture would be number one, garage sales, they're everywhere. Number two, thrift stores. You can pretty much find those in a lot of places. Even small towns have thrift stores. But the problem with garage sales is that they're pretty seasonal, especially if you live somewhere where it snows and it gets freezing cold, which is why online garage sales slash classifieds are my number one place that I'm always looking for used furniture. And since it's my number one way of finding old pieces of furniture to repurpose or to refinish, that's why I want to share with you guys this app. And it is called Virage Sale. Virage Sale contacted me to do a review of their app, and I'm going to do that right now for you guys, and you're going to love it. If you have a DIY project in mind, Virage Sale is the perfect app for you. So what the Virage Sale app is, is it's pretty much just an online garage sale. If you have something that you want to get rid of, make a little extra dough, you just take some pictures from the phone, you upload it from your phone, it's so easy. Upload your pictures, sell it on there. You could do it like while you're taking a bubble bath or something. I mean, be careful, don't drop it in the tub, but you get my point, it's easy. My biggest plus with this app was that it's so easy to use, super user friendly. So I can have the baby in one hand and get my garage selling done on my phone. One of my favorite features about the garage sale app is how easy it is to communicate from buyer to seller or seller to buyer. So if you find an item that you're really interested, let's say I found a super cute end table that I just really am in love with, but I have a question like maybe they didn't include the dimensions. You can click on that specific item and then there's a button right there underneath the photo that says ask. You click that, you type in your question, hit send, then you could turn on notifications if you wanted to be notified as soon as that question is answered and it's all done within the app. You don't have to leave the app to go check your email or anything like that. It's so easy. Everything is in one spot. If you're looking to buy something, you can use their search function if you're looking specific. Um, for me, I usually use the browse all by category. So if I'm looking for a um, new bike for one of the kids for Christmas, so I could do a specific search for boys bike, 
or if I'm looking for just a really unique piece of furniture to add to my home decor, I can just go into the home category and then um, just browse and see all of the items that are listed there. P.S. This is all done by community. Another feature I really loved about this app is that it makes it very convenient to be watching items to see if prices go up or down. Um, my biggest tip for when you are garage sailing online is that no price is set in stone. Unless they say, I'm not budging on my price, there is always some wiggle room and I usually come in a little bit low. You don't want to go too low and offend somebody, but I always come in a lot lower than they're asking. So to make it really easy, if you have multiple items that you're watching, there's one easy, convenient way to look at all of them at one time. So that way you're not going to have to go back through and browse to find that specific item again. You just go to more and then you click on my stuff and then click on watching and then all of the items you're looking at are all right there in one spot. Easy! Using Garage Sale to find one of a kind unique pieces that you're going to make your own refinish or even repurpose is my number one way that you guys can use this but also use Garage Sale to declutter and make some extra cash. You can sell your stuff on Garage Sale just as easily as you can buy stuff on Garage. I'm starting to try my best at following the one in, one out rule. So every time I buy like one new piece of furniture, maybe I'm gonna get rid of something else or maybe you're um, decluttering your closets. All of that stuff most likely can be resold and get you a little bit extra money and then put that back towards your decorating budget. I'm going to be participating in the decluttering one box challenge with Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home. I plan on all of my things that I'm decluttering and putting into that box, I'm going to be putting up for sale for sure. And like I mentioned, I'm going to be putting that money towards our decoration, our um, redecorating budget for the kids' bedroom. Some other things you need to know about garage sale. So there's thousands of communities within the garage sale. Depending on where you live, each community is managed by an administrator, which helps monitor and keeps members safe. One way they monitor and keep all the salesy, like spammy um, salespeople out of the communities is that you have to use your Facebook to log in. So everyone has to sign in with your real name. You're gonna have a picture profile so you know that you're shopping with real people and you're not just being completely spammed. Each community has rules and standards for buying and selling. And then kind of like I mentioned before, what makes it so handy is that all of the items are organized by category. So there's like home, decor, makeup, purses, kids, you know, it's really well organized, making it super easy to find what you're looking for. And there are new deals added every day, so it is worth a quick little five minutes in the morning as you're waking up to take a browse because once those hot deals get on there, you're gonna to wanna to jump on them fast. And the last thing is that this app is completely free. I will have links down below for you guys for your Android or your Apple and then also to garagesale.com so you guys can go and grab this app as soon as you're done watching this video. So that's it you guys. I hope you learned a couple tips on how to decorate Pinterest perfectly but on a very small budget. And definitely click those links down below to go check out the Mirage Sale app. It is worth your time and it's gonna help you um, find those one of a kind pieces and then also help you make a little extra money. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions or comments, there is a description box down below if you're on your phone. Scroll, 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 scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can leave those comments there. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are so awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.